YouTube, welcome to another video by the Geo Scholar. February 28, 2017, a volcanic eruption took place on Mount Etna on the Italian island of Sicily. One thing to remember about Mount Etna, this is one of the most active volcanoes in the world. In fact, it has been designated by the United Nations as a decade volcano because of its activity over thousands of years. It's up for study. Now you have to think about the impact of this volcano. Right now it is being discussed that it will affect travel and the air quality because with the ash and the plume going up in the air, pollution taking place, you have planes that have to travel through there and they could be affected by the obstruction. And then let's look at the history of Mount Etna. Mount Etna has erupted so many times going all the way back to the days of the Roman Empire. And then let's look at the impact on humans. There's sort of a dual blessing slash curse of this volcano the blessing of the volcanic soil from Mount Etna. The fertile volcanic soil, it's good for farming. And then you also have the destructive factor, you know, the lava and the ash from the volcano. It has been recorded for having destroyed property. Interestingly enough, for an active volcano, there have been a relatively few number of deaths recorded that were directly related to an eruption from Mount Etna, 77. Most cases, you have an active volcano, there's a lot of destruction, a lot of death, especially in places where you don't have warning systems in place to evacuate people. It is important to know this because of the impact of, on human beings. On the one hand, you have that destructive factor, but on the other hand, you also have that, that importance. For many people, the volcanic soil is good for farming. And then you have to look at the geopolitical aspect of this. You have about 10 municipalities that meet at the summit of Mount Etna. Multi-point geopolitical situation. Not too different from what you have in the South Pole where you have a bunch of claims by different countries in Antarctica and they all meet in one pole, the South Pole. It is also important to consider that you have the city of Catania, moderate-sized city near the volcano, as well as you having a lot of people living underneath that volcano. While there are more destructive volcanoes than Mount Etna, it is important to know, it is important to study this and how volcanoes impact human beings, the destructiveness, other things that could be caused. You have to think about the future of the possibility of how do we evacuate people, where do we evacuate people, or how do we adapt to living near a volcano. I hope this got you thinking about volcanoes and it helped think about human impact, the relationship of human beings and their environment. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and click on that bell next to the subscribe button because you'll get more notifications on when the next video comes.